We're back. Dan, everybody always goes out to eat cheesesteaks. You know, I don't understand this because they're so easy to make. But we're putting a crazy twist on this one, right? Yes, we sure are. All right, what are we doing here? We're making a fresh mozzarella pizziola cheesesteak sandwich. There you go. So Sounds that's a, good. That's a whole lot of stuff to What's say. What's the first step? First step we're going to do is put some butter in our pan. Oh, you got the good butter. Got didn't the good, but some Kerrygold Irish butter out of our cheese shop. There you go. And, we're gonna and of course, it wouldn't be a cheesesteak without peppers and onions. Peppers and onions. There we go. I'll throw those in there. Okay. We're now, while that's cooking, what are you going to get? What are we going to start now? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bread. And basically, Steve, what I want to do is cut it to the spine, but I don't want to cut it all the way in half. So you're just kind of uh, cutting it, uh, cutting it across the the side, leaving that back attached. Back, right. So what you can do is you can open this up, and we're going to throw it on that grill right there. Okay. I think there's more of that butter on there too, more huh? Butter. Gotta have more butter. We'll toast it up. You know, every time you're just kind of sauteing vegetables, you always want to put a little bit of salt in there just to kind of loosen up, uh, let the water come out of these things, let the moisture uh, get out. Steve, if you wanted to, I mean, you could always add a little bit of garlic powder into this or something in this butter if you oh, want to do yeah. something along those lines. It's just, um, it's seasoned to your taste. Big boy, I'm telling you, these peppers and onions are smelling Super real good. good right now, aren't they? Yep. All right. All right. That's so ready to go. That. I'm going to give it to you to go ahead and put some grill on there. And now we're going to move on to the meat. To the meat. What we've got, this is a, uh, this is a uh, Milanese, cheese, or Milanese steak out of our meat department. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this. It's a really thin cut of meat. And I'm just going to more or less cut yeah, it into strips. we got that out of our, out of our uh, meat department. Right. And we're just going to cut it into strips. Now, we've got a lot of meat on here uh, we're supposed uh, to have, right? Uh, we're, yeah, that's the only way to make it. We're making this for you and I. Yeah, man, I don't know. It's a bit, that's, a, that's a big piece of bread right there, dude. <laughs> we're just about done with that. There we go. So you're looking about a like quarter-inch strips, aren't you? That's right. We're just going to go ahead and put these in with the rest of this that it's already cut up. Yeah, you already got some. Got we some already, already did. That's at about uh, two and a half pounds. About two and a half pounds right there. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. So our peppers and onions are, are kind of where they need to be. They're soft. So we're going to throw these, uh, throw all this meat in here. Then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Right, Dan? Yes, we are. There we go. And this is just going to take a few minutes just to kind of come together. I'm going to turn it up on high just to get this thing going real good. All right, Dan, it's been about five or six minutes. Our meat is looking good. Our bread is nice and toasty. All so right. what's the next step here? I think it looks fantastic. We're going to go ahead and add some mild banana oh, peppers in Oh, you got to put some that. banana peppers gotta in have there, those baby. In there. Yeah, there you go. And again, this is all about fresh mozzarella. And yeah. we're just going to add some fresh mozzarella in there. This is going to kind of bind it together. Bind it together. Let's pour it all in there. Nah, we're good. These guys are old friends. <laughs> <laughs> So really, that's all it takes all there right there, it. huh? Yep. And that cheese is going to melt just a little bit. While we're doing that, let me go ahead and pull this off of here for you. Let's go ahead and put it in our baking Ooh, pan. kind of warm. Look at that. Oh. And that butter is going to add a nice, another flavor to it, another level. All right. Now, if you want to hand me that right there, I'll let okay. you pile this stuff up on You're there. You're going to let me do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I want it piled up high now. We're big boys. We're growing. I oh, know. So you're taking all that... Cheese, ah. look at that stringy stuff. Oh my What's gosh. What's great about mozzarella? <laughs> All the peppers and the onions and the banana peppers. I, I'm telling you, that looks amazing. I don't know how that looks on Don't the worry camera. about the strings, bud. Just yeah, throw it up there. Throw it up there. We'll eat that later. Put yeah, put it all in there. There you go. All right. All right, now our really our last two things we gotta put on here are what? We're going to go ahead and put some marinara sauce on there, and this is our wholesome at home marinara. Okay. And you can use whatever marinara you like, but right. this one we really like a lot. We also like the Oliverio oh, that you can an, find in our deli, right? Yep, that's another great one, too. Put a little bit on this side down here near me. All right. There you go. And then uh, we have some more fresh mozzarella we want to put on put top of it. put some more on there. Got, there's never, you can never have enough mozzarella. <laughs> So, and this is after you put this on here, we're just going to put this under our broiler in our oven, right? Yes, sir. And just until the cheese melts, and then we're done. We're done, and we just cut it and plate it, and we're ready to go. All right. Serve it. All right, let's put it in the oven. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh, Dan, look at this thing. Can we eat now? Here we go. Let's slide it right off of there. I'm telling you, man, it is humongous. Come on now. Now, you don't have to make them this big at home, but, hey, 
On Cook with Kroger, we go big. We go big. <laughs> Look at that. And you're cutting it in half. Cut it in half. Or you cut, cut it in about 10 pieces. A little bit for everybody. You got it? Got it. All right, let me put this big piece right there. You can put that big piece right there. Look at that sandwich, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. That's amazing. When we come back, Dan and I have a light summery dessert that can be served at any dinner party. But first, it's time to announce our winner of the Cooking with Kroger Sweepstakes.